Okay, so today we will be replacing the LCD panel on the 17-inch Alienware 17, model year 2013 and 2014. I'm using a uh, AUO Full HD screen provided by LaptopScreen.com to replace this 1600 by 900 panel that came stock on my Alienware. The first thing we have to do is to flip it over and uh, remove the bottom panel so we can disconnect the battery. Okay, so we're going to have to remove this screw as well as this screw to gain access to the bottom panel. With the screws removed, all we have to do now is slide the panel up and pull away. Uh, next thing we have to do is to disconnect the battery, which can be done by simply pulling this cable up and pushing it away like so. And then we have to flip it over to gain access to the LCD. Using a plastic spudger tool, we will use it to pry between the LCD bezel and the back assembly of the entire LCD. So again, using the spudger tool, all we're going to do is slide this back behind the bezel and pull up like so and then you can just pop it along the rest of the bezel gently so you don't break any of the plastic retaining clips so this is the panel with the bezel removed as I said before all we have to do was to use a plastic spudger and uh, hang on let the camera focus so all we have to do is use the spudger and uh, pop up the bezel a little bit and then use your fingers to work your way around the rest of the screen and um, just gently pry it up. So now we're gonna take care of the four screws. We have one at the top there, another there, another two down here, and another two over there. So we're gonna take care of those real quick. So now that the four screws, four locations have been unscrewed, as you can see, um, you can simply tilt the screen forward and just let it be careful now you have the uh, video cable up top here this one here you have to be careful with that one and as you can see here that connects it to the LVDS so we're gonna have to gently uh, remove it so this is the LVDS cable here I just pried up it was kinda uh, glued lightly to the back of this panel and there's some clear tape here watch out for that that um, connects the cable to the screen. You just have to pull this up and uh, gently pry it away from the rest of the screen. There you go, just like that. And your panel is now free. So as you can see, the screen has been pulled out and the new one from LaptopScreen.com is right here in this anti-static bag. All we have to do to this one is pull it out and uh, swap the frame over from the old ones by undoing the screws along the side here. And uh, all you have to do is uh, swap them over into the new screen. And uh, get back to screwing them over and uh, reconnecting the LVDS cable. So this is back with a new panel. All I've been doing so far is taking off this yellow tape here that uh, holds the uh, protector to the front glass and uh, it's covering up some of the holes that we need to mount the new frame to, so I'm just taking these off and we're going to mount it here in a second. So we're here, we have uh, reaffixed the LVDS cable and the clear tape, and the screen is ready to be reinstalled into the main frame. Okay, so everything has been reassembled in the reverse process. I simply re-screwed the screws into the uh, LCD frame and then uh, just clipped back in the uh, LCD bezel all around, just checking to see that all the clips are back in and it looks like that. So let's give this a try and see if it worked. And it lit up, that's a good sign. And hey, it posted. So the LCD swap was a success from as far as I can tell. The uh, original panel, as I said before, was a LG 1600 by 900 matte panel, 
it had a rather terrible contrast and poor color accuracy. So I instead used LaptopScreen.com to purchase a uh, full HD glossy panel for you know better colors and all that. And I specifically asked for either a Toshiba Sharp or AUO panel, and they were gracious enough to listen to my request, and they sent me an AUO panel. And uh, as you can see here, it definitely works, and we're going to check the resolution. And if we can look here, it is definitely 1920 by 1080 Full HD, so the transplant was a success. Um, I did this all on my first try. I've had no prior training on replacing the screen on the system. So it's definitely doable by any DIY uh, home user. So uh, thanks for watching and good luck.